Checking out the Oneida Dust Deputy Low Profile Separator. So let's see how this does on a five gallon bucket to separate out that dust as it comes off the shop vac. The kit comes with a three foot hose that fits most shop vacs, a 90 degree elbow fitting. There's a seal. This is a heavy duty rubber seal that is self adhesive and will go inside the separator itself. Plus there's a couple of handle clips that we'll install. And the separator itself, it's nice that it's clear, but boy, that really is a low profile design. The seal has an L-shaped profile and the short leg of the L needs to go towards the inside of this rim so it sits in there just like that. Just peel off the self-adhesive backing and press it in place. So you can just work that around and trim off any excess as needed when you get to the end. And when you're done installing the seal, it should look like that. There's two of these black latches. Snap those into place onto the dust separator and then secure those with a washer and screw on each side. And the other one goes on just the same way. Hook it from underneath, snap it on, and then the washer and screw. The 90 degree fitting has a tapered end and that's a nice snug fit into the top of the separator and then attach the hose and that'll head over to your shop vac. And then just mount that on any standard five gallon bucket and you're ready to go. When you press the lid in place, you definitely feel that gasket compressing a little bit so you know you're getting a good seal between the lid and the bucket. Normally I might connect the short hose to the shop vac, but this rigid vac takes a special connection, so I'll use the long one on this end. We'll take airspeed as well as CFM measurements before and after running some dust through, just to give us an indication of how clean that filter is staying. Okay, it was in the 380 range for CFM. That time just 340, let's go with 340. Yeah, right about 4,000 feet per minute for your velocity. Okay, let's see how much dust we picked up here. I got a good quantity there. But as far as keeping the filter clean, it does look a little better than what I would normally expect. So separator seems to be doing its job. And you can expect trace amounts of dust making it into the shop back, but compared to the large volumes that normally would accumulate there, this is a vast improvement. And then we'll run our numbers again and see how that compares. So CFM is still reading 340 to 350, so that's right where we were before the test. And then we'll check our airspeed in feet per minute. And that's still over 4,000, so we haven't lost any performance on the vacuum cleaner. And that just shows that the separator is doing a nice job for us. So there's lots of great positives to this system. The one that really stands out is the fact that it's now low profile, so it'll fit just about anywhere. On the negative side, I would say any of these dust separators don't feel terribly integrated with your shop vac, but if you're creative and come up with a little shop cart or a way to manage that five gallon bucket, it can be a real winner in your shop. Mine just lives at the router table in my wood shop, so portability is less of a concern for me. So if you're looking for a really slick system to keep the filter in your shop back much cleaner, I would definitely recommend this Oneida Dust Deputy in the low profile model.